Hello everybody. Well, today I'm going to do a video that I've kind of been meaning to do for a while now just because uh, I do get the question a lot, how do Grant Stone boots and shoes compare to Alden boots and shoes? And I do have pretty extensive uh, experience collecting the Aldens. I only have four pairs of Grant Stones and they're all boots. So I'm going to do my best to do sort of an objective comparison between the two. Okay, let me introduce these first before I really start jabbering on. These are these three are the Grant Stones. These are called the Diesel Boot. This is Natural Chrome Excel, uh, Brown Chrome Excel, or I think they call it Crimson on the website, and then this is Black Chrome Excel. All from the Horween Tannery, all the same leather, just different colors. And then these three are the Aldens. So here we have suede. This is snuff suede. Then here we have um, reverse tobacco chamois. It's sort of a suede, but it's actually a rough out. And then this here is a grain calfskin leather. It's called Tan Country Calf. Both boots are worth your, your money, in my opinion. Both brands are absolutely fantastic. I love both. Alden is a heritage company. They've been around for a really long time. Grant Stone is new to the scene, so I understand the doubt around Grant Stone, but um, hopefully in this discussion I can get into some finer details and help, you know, help give a better idea and understanding of what what Grant Stone boots are versus what Alden boots are. So, and and for the purposes of simplicity, I'm just going to keep it to my to plain toe boots only. I do have Grant Stones with a mock toe stitching, just like I have Aldens in the mock toe stitching, but I'm not gonna get those involved right now just because uh, it would overcomplicate things. So let me get started with, so Grant Stones are made in China, and I know that a lot of consumers have a problem with that. A lot of consumers who buy Alden buy it off the principle of the fact that it's they're made in America. And I, 100% uh, agree with that philosophy. I love American-made products. I buy it. I buy American-made as often as I can. I love it. You know, I find a great sense of pride in buying a product that is American. And I, I really think we need to be supporting the American job market and the American economy as much as possible. So with that said, though, my idea towards Chinese made goods has shifted a little bit in the past year. Um, for those of you who collect J. Crew clothing, uh, you, you might know that Frank Frank Moitjens, I think I'm saying it right, Frank, Frank Moitjens, the men's style director, if you will, of J. Crew, he said recently, he said what a lot of people don't realize is yeah, there's a lot of high quality um, goods that get manufactured in China. And he said, there are some good denim mills in China, believe it or not. That was a sort of an eye-opener for me that you can't just sort of box, you know, put everything into one category. Oh, if it's Chinese, then it must not be good quality. That isn't true. I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way to sort of help remove any bias against Chinese-made goods because as you can see, as, you, as you're going to see in this, Comparison, these are very good quality uh, pieces of footwear right here. <laughs> I just kind of want to lay the groundwork there. I know a lot of people's hesitations from buying Grant Stone are the fact that they're made in in China. I believe the, the place is called Jamen, China. Anyways, so my first pair of Grant Stones were these. These are natural chrome excel. Now, now the, the thing to understand is the, the leather is from Horween. They, they, they source the materials from within the United States. So essentially these are made, the Grant Stone boots are made from the same quality materials that Alden's are. So if that's something that matters to you, then you should know that, you know, Grant Stone is less expensive. I believe the they they run about four hundred compared to Alden's now. They're, they're about they're Coming up on about six hundred dollars a pair for some for something brand new. That's not shell cordovan. That those are materials that are, you know, sort of their standard materials. Their chrome excel, their calf skin, reverse tobacco chamois, the suede, the snuff suede right here. 
the, if you were to buy these new today, it would run you with tax about 600 bucks versus these. I don't even believe Grants don't charge shipping. They definitely didn't charge sales tax because it was from out of state. So I believe, I believe for this pair I paid about close to 400 for this pair. So that's about 30% cheaper for the Grant Stones. So for 30% more, you're getting Aldens, which are made in America. 30% less, you're getting Grant Stones, which are constructed in China, but not made of Chinese materials. They're made of American materials. These, these, this comes from Horween, just like the Indie Boot, just like, just like uh, this reverse tobacco chamois comes from Horween. This, this suede comes from Charles F. Stead Tannery. I just kind of want to get those facts out of the way first before I started getting into the real nitty gritty of how these are designed. Another thing that I wanted to touch on was Alden sort of runs, it, they don't really do a whole lot of advertising and they don't do a whole lot of customer outreach. They're a very closed off company. Uh, you, you, could, you could go and actually tour the Alden factory, which is cool, but for the most part, they don't have very much, uh, it, the company itself doesn't have much exposure to the public. Whereas Grant Stone, they're very, they're very public facing, they're very reachable. Grant Stone is very reachable. So that would appeal more to the millennials uh, because, because I can speak personally on Instagram, whenever I have like a nice picture of my Grant Stone boots, Grant Stone features that in their feed. You know, does Alden, has Alden ever featured any of my footwear in there, in any of their feeds? No. Certain individual vendors and stores for Alden will post on Instagram and be sort of a little bit more engaging with, with uh, consumers, but not near to the scale of what I've seen Grant Stone do. Grant Stone is very, they're very nice guys. They, they understand their consumer, their target consumer demographic, which are, which is basically younger, basically millennials that, uh, that are they're they're into Instagram, they're into social media, and so for me personally, when it that that me that's special to me that Grant Stone does reach out, they communicate with you directly, you you can talk to a human being. Whereas with Alden, it's kind of like oh you need a resale, well, send these in and send us a check, and <laughs> you know it's sort of a black hole. That there's nobody really that I've ever spoken with from Alden directly that I could use for assistance. So that's why a lot of the times, you know, I'm not as enthusiastic about uh, about their products as I am for Grantstone. At Grantstone, I feel that engagement because let's face it, when when you spend the money and you invest in a piece of footwear, the the journey doesn't end there. The journey continues with social media. You can share this stuff with other like-minded people who love boots, who love nice, great handmade footwear. To me, I can speak personally, as a consumer, I love that Grant Stone will not only sell me the boot, but monitor, <laughs> monitor the progression and the life of the boot, and they're there for you, you know? And they're there to resell it, but they're also there to sort of admire how you wear it. It's not just buy it and then be done with the company. With Grant Stone, you're getting a company that that wants to engage with you as you break in your boots. It's 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 a journey, and I think Grant Stone understands that. I think Grant Stone keeps up really well with their consumer base, and uh, that's one thing that I definitely have to give them credit for, is is just the fact that they are so in touch with their consumers. So kudos to Grant Stone on that, <laughs> for sure, for sure. They're down to earth guys. Whereas Alden, you know, they're they're an old company. You could tell, you could tell that when, when you walk into an Alden store, and this isn't anything wrong with it, it's just that you could tell that a lot of their makeups are tailored to the older consumers. Alden's posture has traditionally been more for the older consumer and not so much for the younger consumer. Now that is changing a little bit, but Grant Stone has entered the scene fully ready to be in touch with you on social media, fully ready to, you know, engage with you 
answer any of your questions. Like I said, the first time I ever went to their website, I had a, a, a customer service person chatting with me, which was amazing. That, that's never happened to me with Alden. I'll get these outside in the, in the direct sunlight so that we can sort of compare and contrast the different leathers and the stitching and we can sort of get into more of the nitty gritty of, you know, if, if, if you're considering one or the other, you know, hopefully this will help you make a decision. Uh, again, I want, I'm trying to do this as objectively as possible. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm just putting all the facts out there as I've collected over the years. All right, so now that I got them outside, you could see them a little bit better in the natural light here. All right, so again, we have Alden Snuff Suede, Grant Stone Natural Chrome Excel, Alden Tan Country Calf, Grant Stone Crimson Chrome XL. We got the Alden Reverse Tobacco Chamois, and we got the Grant Stone Black Chrome XL here. I'll talk a little bit about the lasting here. So we have a nice little bit of a variety of lasts going on. So on all the Grant Stone boots, they're all on the Leo last. Yeah, here's the Leo last. And then this is compared to the Alden. This is the True Balance last. So Alden True Balance. Grant Stone Leo last. Here's the Grant Stone Leo last. Here's the Alden Berry last right here. So the berry is just going to be a little bit more narrow in the toe. The True Balance here is going to have is going to be a little bit more rounded in the toe. But then if you look at the Leo last on Grant Stone, it's, it looks pretty similar. So it's close, though I do prefer. I have to say, of all the lasts here, I do prefer the Leo last the most. This here is actually not uh, True Balance at all, though it is similar. Uh, this is a this is a unique last that they use mostly in Japan, but it is comparable to the True Balance last. I'd have to say it's almost identical. I forget the exact name of it. This pair is from Brooks Brothers, and these are all in size eight and a half for, for both Alden and Grant Stone. You typically go down half a size, unless you're dealing with. Alden's other lasts. Most most of the time I only buy Barry or True Balance. Now, the as far as I know, Grant Stone only offers one last, and that's the Leo last, which was designed by a professional uh, podiatrist, I believe. If you look at their website, it, it gives you more information on it. And, okay, so I'll talk a little bit about the, the laces, too, actually. These are, here on the Tan Country Calf, these are original Alden laces flat waxed and they're nice these laces on the grant stones are from guarded goods and so are these these are also from guarded goods i love their laces but actually i don't have any original grant stone laces on any of these but i will say that the grant stone laces i do prefer to the alden laces i think grant stone has alden beat in the lace department all right real quick here's an example of the lace differences so on the Grant Stone, these are the original laces, and I left them on these this pair of Ottawa boots, and I actually I like them a lot. I do have to say they do rival the Guarded Goods ones. I don't. I think I'm actually going to end up sticking the originals back on maybe a couple of the uh, other pairs of Grant Stones, just because these these are really easy to work with. The Guarded Goods ones are kind of stiff, whereas the Grant Stone ones are real. They're real easy. They're, they, they bend really easily. They lace up really easily. So that's a plus. And then, so these are the basic laces that came with the Alden. These are the Alden flat, flat wax brown laces. Just pretty standard. Now they're real nice. They're pretty much the best, you know, brown cotton laces you're ever going to find. <laughs> but, you know, they're pretty basic. Whereas these have a lot of character to them. That's why I prefer the rawhide laces. They just have so much more character. They stand out so much more. Every pair of Grant Stone I received also came with a pair of uh, brown flat waxed laces, which are a little thicker than the Alden ones, but those are actually in a box tucked away somewhere, so I don't have those readily available, unfortunately. And here's another good thing to show is, is the back of the boot. All my Grant Stone makeups have this, they have this back heel cap along with this back heel strip right here, which is very nice. Whereas my Aldens, typically all my Aldens, they just have the back heel strip and it, they all start like that. 
you know, they start wide at the bottom and, and narrow out at the top. All right, and here's another back comparison. The Grant Stones with the heel cap and the back strip and then the Aldens with, again, that same back strip. And as far as using the same materials, yeah, they use the same, Grant Stone uses similar materials for the uppers, like I talked about before, but the eyelets are different on the Grant Stones. As you can see, they have sort of these brass eyelets going on, whereas Alden's, and, and, and the Grant Stone eyelets are a little bigger. They're a little bit more substantial. Whereas on Alden, see, these are, these are the gold eyelets on the Alden. They're a little smaller, a little bit more refined, giving it a little bit more of a dressy look, in my opinion. Um, so, again, here's Alden eyelets. When you compare the Alden, Alden eyelets here to the Grant Stone eyelets here, you can just see that the Grant Stones are, are a little bigger. The diameter here is a lot bigger than the Alden. As far as the construction, these are all unstructured toed boots. Again. There's Grant Stone Eyelets versus Alden Eyelets, and all on that, I'll give you a shot of all the uh, toes. These are all unstructured toes. It's a little bit more of a sleek silhouette on all these. Okay, and one thing I really want to talk about that I realize I need to touch on are the soles, the differences between the soles that both companies use. Alden uses a lot of different soles. They use the crepe sole. Here is an example of an Alden leather sole that I had a Vibram uh, sole protector installed on. While I was buying Grant Stones, they only came with one type of sole, which was this one, which I find to be quite gorgeous. If you compare the Alden sole to the Grant Stone sole, the antiquing on this is really nice. It's, it's a lot lighter, and I don't know where they source the soles from. They're similar to Alden, but I don't know that they're identical. So I think they might be a little different, mainly judging on just the slightly different appearance from one to the next. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, Grant Stone has recently started to offer their boots on a commando sole, which is nice. That's another point that I wanted to make about Grant Stone is that up till now I've only seen them use two different types of soles, whereas Alden uses, you know, they use the leather sole, they use the Neo Cork sole on the Indie Boot, they use Commando soles, two different types actually, the standard Commando sole and then the Lug Commando sole. And then yeah, this crepe sole here is, is one kind. Anyways, so here's a good example of Alden Brown Chrome XL and Grant Stone Chrome XL. As you can see, they're almost the same. Let's see if I can get these in similar light. So the Aldens and the Grant Stone, they're just a little bit different shade of Chrome XL, but for the most part, very, very close. Very close to being the same thing. I'll add that every batch that Alden does as well will vary also, so there's no way to get a 100% consistent product all the time. So, yeah, again, here's a good example of what a, what a Grant Stone shoe looks like right up against an Alden shoe that's almost exactly the same style. Both plain toe, both unstructured. These Aldens are on the very last. In my opinion, all right, now let's look at the stitching here. In my opinion, so here's Alden stitching. Here's Grant Stone stitching. I kind of like the Grant Stone stitching a little better, to be perfectly, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think that Grant Stone stitching is just a slight step above. Alden has sort of a reputation for having some QC issues. On all my Grant Stones, the stitching has always been flawless. Not that I'm necessarily that picky about it. For, for you guys out there that have OCD, <laughs> um, the Grant Stone is a near flawless stitch. There's maybe a little, a little bit of a flaw in the center there. But for the most part, if we're really going to compare, then I would, I'd have to give one to Grant Stone on a stitching. I've talked Grant Stone up quite a bit. Now, they are a newer company, so one thing I will say is with Alden, you get more of a variety. With Grant Stone, for the longest time, they only had about six, seven, or eight different pairs of boots, and then they rolled out with some shoes, but for the most part, Grant Stone doesn't always have a huge selection. 
of footwear of different styles. They don't do cap toes yet. They did start doing um, wingtip shoes recently. And they do plain toe shoes. So just check out their website. They don't have hundreds and hundreds of styles like Alden does. If you're looking for an exact leather with an exact style, whether it be short wing, long wing, um, cap toes, perforated cap toes, you know, mock toe stitching, Norwegian split toe stitching, medallion toe, Alden has all that. Whereas Grant Stone does not. They're new, they have just a, a, small, a smaller selection. It is getting bigger from what I could tell. That's the lowdown on the difference between Alden and Grant Stone. I'll say that they're both amazing. I love both of them. I'm very happy with both. I highly, highly recommend both. If I were just starting, and I'll say this, if I were just starting my boot collections, I'd probably grab almost every pair of Grant Stone boots that they have <laughs> and finish off the collection with um, Alden pieces here and there. Just because the Grant Stone is a lot more affordable. I'll also add that Grant Stone has a local shipping facility. I believe it's somewhere in the Midwest. I'm not sure. But I did get the boots within two or three days when I ordered them. Because it, it is domestic shipping. So it's not like you have to wait for them to come from China on a boat. <laughs> so, but anyways, I hope, I hope this gave you some insight if you're, if you're in the process of shopping for more for, to get your boot collection started. Um, I hope this gives you a little bit of an overview of what you're getting with Grant Stone versus Alden. Alright guys, thanks a lot and I'll see you in my next video.